The 12th of August is International Youth Day, whose theme is Youth Building Peace. In Zimbabwe, about 36% of the population are youths, but do they participate in democratic processes, such as elections that could bring peace to a country like Zimbabwe? Mobile Community Zimbabwe went out to speak to a focus group of youths aged between 22 and 33 just to find out about their sentiments in participating in democratic processes like elections. Zimbabwe is going to elections in 2018 and the youths are expected to play a big role in these polls. Um, first of all, I'm not really understanding the whole BVI issue. And I'm really quite uh, confused, especially uh, if I have to think about having to go to my landlord to get mm -hmm. an affidavit just to go and register to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really quite a process. So that's just making me reluctant to vote next year. I feel that as a citizen, it is my right to vote. And even if my vote won't change anything, but I know that it's a voice, it will say something to the respective authority that um, if we go in our numbers, it will send a message to them that even if they remain in their same positions, but maybe they might change the game. We are we're the dominant population right now, mm -hmm. so we need to vote. And the and a problem is uh, the leadership that's there, they, they've set a, a horrible precedent. We have this feeling that nothing will change. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been told all our lives that Atibe me my foot. So there's that general fear that why should I waste my time voting? Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like at this moment, uh, as youth, um, we're now realizing that we are about to inherit a broken country. Mm -hmm. The people, the generation before us have basically ruined everything. And if we do not stand up now, it's kaput. It's kind of wasting time and we already know the obvious results. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to waste my time going and standing in the queues and stuff. I think that the youth, they don't vote because they um, don't really understand the whole the policy issues themselves. Even those that do vote, it's because of the false consciousness, I'll call it that, that the policy makers bring to them towards um, election time. And you would hear some vote, you would ask, what are you voting for? What is it that you want? And they'll tell you, ah, you're just voting. Don't go to vote or something like that. Everyone is voting. so. Let me just go and vote also. So I think it also demotivates most of the youth to... I actually think it's really important to vote. I will not allow the administrative challenges to stop me from voting. I am privileged, Dangu, that I understand the BVR system and what that's going to look like. But I still think duty is important. And I also know that if we show up in our numbers, there's only a certain amount of reading you can do. There's a lot of other Zimbabweans who are also youth who also want to participate in, you know, engaging the civic engagement, not just the discussions, not just the discourse, but the actual, you know, being part of, of the change and contributing. But if you're outside the country, you can't. Um, so I came back three years ago, but obviously it's not, it wasn't at a time that I could vote in that three years. So this, for me, will be the first time in my life, actually that I get to vote. So I'm very excited about that. I am not going to vote. I've never voted before. I just think voting is just a formality, but we all know which party is guaranteed to win anyway. Mixed views came out from the focus group. Some are for participating in democratic processes like elections. Some would not want to participate for certain reasons. But the fact remains, whether one chooses to participate or not to participate, you would have contributed to a certain result.